All right, now we need to do the last layer. So what we need to do is we first need to get the cross on the top. So what we do is we take each edge and we put it, and like, let's take this edge, put it where it needs to go, which is right here. And now this needs to be flipped. So, okay, now we know that needs these need to be flipped. Now let's take this. This is where it needs to go here. It also needs to be flipped. This is where it needs to be here, matches, and here. This is where it needs to be. So what that's pretty much created is we have created an L, which looks like this. And this L here. And so what we do is what we want to do is hold it in the upper, in this position right here. So like this type of a thing. So it's right here. And then we want to do this algorithm. F R U R prime U prime F prime. And what that should do is it should create a line. So we see this one is correct and this one is also correct. Correct. So this is our line. So now we hold it so that the line is here, kind of like this position on a Rubik's Cube. So now we need to do the algorithm again, holding it like this, so the line is right here, and we do the same algorithm, which is F R U R prime U prime F. And that should essentially get all of the pieces oriented. And this one's um, twisted correctly. So is this one, and this one, and this one. So they're all twisted correctly, but they just need to be, uh, they just need to switch places in order to create our cross. So I can see now these two need to switch. These two are correct. They're in, their, in, they're in their correct spots, but these two need to switch. So here's how we do it. We hold it so that the two that need to switch are here. So it's like this position here where we have um, two that are oriented. So what we do is we hold the two that need switching in front of us. So we hold like one in the front and one in the back, and we do this algorithm. R, U, R prime, U, R, U2 are prime, and that is soon, by the way. And that should make it so that we have two here that are um, this. We have this position here, which is pretty much like this case on a normal Rubik's cube, where we have two here. So what we want to do is we want to hold it so that you have one on the right side and one on the back. And then you do soon again, which is R U R prime U R U two R prime U, and that creates our cross. Now we need to move on to um, putting in these last corners. What our first goal is is to put them all in the correct spots, and then we can worry about orienting them. So we look around for one that's already in the correct spot. Here's one. It doesn't matter if it's oriented correctly. This one just happens to be oriented. So what we want to do, we want to hold that in this lower position here, which is like in this position here. And so then what we want to do is we want to do this algorithm. U R U prime L prime u r prime u prime l and that should put your corners in if it didn't do it again and it should work so now we need to orient these last corners and so you could have two like this case or you could have two that are next to each other or you could have three but for this case what we want to do is we want to put the corner in the lower right hand corner, 
the same thing that we did when we were orient, uh, putting all the corners in the right place. So then we just do right inverted, down inverted, right, down until it flips it correctly. Now don't worry about the rest, that'll fix itself later. And so then we rotate this other corner that needs flipping into the spot where the last corner was. And then we use right inverted, down inverted, right down in order to orient that one. And when we do that, it should solve. Now, you may have a position where you need to one center to flip, or to twist and all the rest of the cube is done you have everything completed you just need this last center to switch to flip or to twist so the way we do this is we hold it like this so this center is in the top and we do r u r prime u i believe it's four times so that was one two three, four, or maybe it's five. Yeah, it's five. So you do it five times. Here is another case you may have where two centers need to be flipped um, 90 degrees. So here's the way that you do this. First what we do is we want to hold it so that one is in the right, in the right side and one is on top. And we do soon R U R prime U R U2 R prime and we turn it over here and we do the left version of anti soon which is L prime U prime L U prime L prime U2 L now what we have pretty much is just a three edge cycle the counterclockwise version so that's to do to fix that we have we do this algorithm r u prime r u r u r u prime r prime u prime r2 and that should solve it if it didn't and you still have the two centers that are twisted then just hold one in the top do the algorithm that will flip it 180 and then hold the other one on the top and do the algorithm that will flip it 180 and that should solve it. So you should be able to solve your axle cube now. So if you have any um, problems then you can send me a personal message and so that should be about it. So thanks for watching guys. Have a good day.